Hey guys, it's Robbie here, and this is Frecky Fit Wolf. It's Sunday, so it means it's time for another week's weigh in. All right, everybody, we're back on my bed. Um, my roommate is still asleep, and uh, I think I'm gonna be home all day because it's gonna be like seven degrees a day. It's really, really cold. Actually, a coworker, like I almost had to go into work. Um, but I think we're gonna be slow, so it's fine. But a coworker, her pipes froze because it's so cold. So yeah, that's it's fun right now. And we got snow finally, but it's like barely anything, which makes me sad. If we're gonna have cold, I want snow. I love snow, but especially if it's gonna be super, super cold, I can only enjoy that if there's snow. Otherwise it's like, what the heck? Um, especially considering we have to be careful here with our space heaters and like, I don't know if I've explained this before, but like, you know, super tall ceilings, top floor of a building. So it's it's typically a lot colder in our room. So like I have the heat actually on and I'm never cold, but the heat is actually on, of course, and like higher than what I would typically prefer. And it's still a little chilly, but if I put on a space heater and my roommate puts on a space heater, power goes out like it did last night at like 1230 in the morning. That was fun running outside in the cold, in the snow, in pajamas to flip some circuit breakers. But yeah, so anyway, not here to complain. Um, just explaining why I'm in my room. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully you all had a wonderful week. Um, my week has been interesting to say the least. Uh, ever since I did that video on um, like self-sabotage and binging and that, like it's really gotten me kind of in my head. Um, it's addressing some of the issues as to why I got that in the first place. And it's been hard. Um, I, I don't know how else to say it. I don't really want to go into details, but mentally and emotionally, it's been a rough go of things. Um, basically, I've been fighting hardcore depression ever since then. And I'm trying to deal with those issues and things like that. Um, and I'm hoping that it's by some miracle I can somehow get insurance so I can go to therapy or something because it's harder than a lot of the issues that I faced. And I've been through therapy a lot, so I'm trying to utilize things that I have learned. But yeah, um, so I've been dealing with that. But I have to say that I am proud of myself, which is a great thing to say, uh, because Despite everything, um, I behaved this week. I went to the gym. I stayed within my calories. A couple of days, I got a little low on water, made up for it. Um, in fact, there was even one day where I did go a lot higher on calories than I had planned. But that's what I'm loving about doing, you know, a weekly number is if I go a little bit higher, as long as I don't go too crazy, I can lower it the next day, make up the difference without feeling starved, because um, which is wonderful. Because I've always thought I'm like, if if I did that, I'm just gonna be starving the next day. But I haven't been. I've been feeling satisfied, feeling energized. Um, not fully energized. I'm still pretty tired, but a lot of that has to do with emotion. Um, right now I'm actually tired because I did actually have a lot of fun with friends last night. We were playing video games, because that's what I do, um, Overwatch, and then Among Us, and a couple of friends would say, guys, let's drink and play. And I'm like, it's always been a thing with me where I'm paranoid. I'm like, I don't want to drink home alone. There, you know, there have been some alcoholics in my family, and I just feel like it's, it's scary to me. I don't know why, it just always has been. Um, and but like it justified it that okay we're playing with each other even though we're all home alone we're still have our headsets on we're still talking to each other so okay and so i pre-tracked uh the calories for for some rum i did rum and diet it was kind of nice having diet soda for the first time in a long time um but so i pre-tracked that it's 98 calories for 1.5 ounces of rum so cool i tracked three drinks i actually only had two um because two is enough. Like I'm a lightweight now. Uh, but yeah, so it ended up being a ton of fun. Um, and I needed that. Uh, especially because like earlier in the week, I had made plans with somebody and they ended up canceling. And things have just been feeling 
pretty cruddy overall, but I'm not letting that stop me from my health goals, which makes me feel wonderful. Uh, so with all of that said, with oh, probably TMI as far as how I'm feeling on this week, um, I did good. Like the, the way numbers, I'm really, really happy. I'm really kind of shocked. Uh, but not really, because I, I have been stepping on the scale every day and I've been seeing it happen. But I was just like, sweet. So anyway, I stepped on the scale and now I am 292.2 pounds. So that means I lost 3.4 3 pounds this week and 84.6 pounds total. I'm, I'm, I'm on my roll. I, I do feel like that. I feel good as far as that goes. And honestly, I think being successful right now on this weight journey is helping me a lot with my other issues because there, there are a lot of feelings of incompetence and other things that are negative that I don't feel like going into. But knowing that I'm doing this, that I'm succeeding at this, that I'm doing it in a healthy way that's helping boost my self-esteem. So it's kind of semi-balancing. It's more a little lopsided, but semi-balancing, you know, how I feel knowing that I am succeeding at this and, and knowing that I'm not resorting to food or being lazy to fight those other feelings, which has always been my go-to. I mean, I'm sure most people with weight issues that is their go-to. Like I've said a million times, I know how to be upset and depressed or stressed about being fat. It's facing the other issues that I don't know how to do. So the fact that I am not doing things to trigger me to gain weight, to fall off track, to be upset about the weight loss journey, it is going to help me deal with the other stuff. So as far as mini goals go, um, my last mini goal uh, was, uh, I forgot, I already erased it, 291 or something like that. No, not 291, 294.2. 294.6 was my last mini goal. Um, obviously at 292, I am below that. So I hit another mini goal. Oh, and also the last mini goal, this was one of the shirts that I got. It, it's an Among Us thing, I, I, it's a video game. Basically sus means suspect or suspicious. It's a thing that happens in the game. Um, so now I got to decide what happens with my next one. I do want a tattoo. I have, I have two planned out on my hand that I want to do. So it's probably going to be that, um, it's going to be a little bit until I make the money. So maybe I'll hit a second goal before I, I can actually do that. Um, so yeah, so my next mini goal will be the next five pounds down from the original start, which is 289.6. So I have 2.6 pounds to go for that. Pretty cool. And oh, I didn't do the math on the Dogwoods one. Um, let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I can do it. I cannot do it. I will throw it on the screen. So my goal weight for Dogwoods, my trip in September, my camping trip that I'm going on was 249.1. And I am at 292.2. Oh, I can do this. 49. Watch, watch how I can do this. So 249. 59, 69, 79, 89, 99. So that's 50. I can't do this. 292.2 minus 249.1. That's how much more I have to go. Um, I'll throw it on the screen. Math is hard. I'm tired. Um, depressed, like I said. So yeah, sorry. Like I'm, I'm, I'm happy about my weight loss journey. Um, like I said, there's just a lot of other issues going on. And also I'm being a little more quiet since my roommate is home sleeping on the other side of the stairwell right here. So yeah, so it was a good week as far as my weight journey goes. Um, like I said, as far as everything else, it's, it's been a little trickier. Uh, I do, I am taking a vacation day this coming Friday at work so that I can have kind of a me day and maybe do an extra video. Like I feel bad that I only did one video this week. Oh, and that was my last weigh in. Um, but it's just been hard. And it's like scheduling stuff has also been complicated. There is a video I really wanna do. There's something I wanna make for you guys that I think you would enjoy. So I'm hoping 
since I'll have Thursday and Friday off this coming week, that I will be able to make that then. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you're doing. And I will talk to you all later. Thank you.